So it seems like the PlayStation community has a new talking point. Um, this talking point, I'm seeing it being used by more than one of these PlayStation YouTubers, but it is such a brain dead talking point that I don't even know if they are doing it for clickbait. I don't, I don't even know if they are serious, but it's very, very foolish. Let's break down these talking points and let's see if any one of these uh, talking points make any kind of sense or if they are talking foolishness. So ponies, let's talk about this doom rumor. Let's talk about buttered sausage. Talk about buttered sausage, where it comes from, what it does. Why is it doing what it's doing? Get it out of my face. What about buttered, buttered, buttered sausage? That's not your jam. It's not your thing, you don't like it? It's not my jam, I don't buy jam, I buy honey and I kiss it on the lips. <laughs> I told you guys, these guys have a sickness. They are brain dead. <laughs> well, let's jump right into uh, this discussion about, you know, Doom going multi-plat. <laughs> This is a sickness! Let's get it! Now, for the past few weeks, the only thing that was on these gamers' uh, lips was Xbox Showcase. Uh, ponies are hopeful that Microsoft is going to talk about games coming to the PlayStation. While the Xbox community know that this showcase, uh, Microsoft is going to drop bangers in this showcase because of all the rumors. Well, it just so happened that another rumor came out and this rumor is suggesting that id Software is making a brand new Doom game and we know that the Doom fans are out there, there's a lot of Doom fans out there. Now, part of this rumor is that this game is going to go multi-plat. Let's uh, listen at Kotaku as they report on this rumor and then we would hear some of the stupid takes of the PlayStation community and then we will have our counter argument. Listen up. New, medieval, Doom reportedly coming to PS5 and Xbox will be announced in June. The game is reportedly named Doom, the Dark Ages and has been in development for a few years. According to a new report, it seems like the next big Doom game from ID Software and Bethesda will be announced soon. But it sounds like this next entry in the popular FPS franchise won't be a traditional sequel, but instead, possibly a prequel showing the origins of the series' main character, the Doomslayer. On May 24, Insider Gaming reported that it had learned the next game in the Doom franchise was planned to be revealed at the upcoming Xbox Games Showcase on June 9. This is the same Doom game that has been previously rumored to exist under the codename, Year Zero. According to the new report, the final name is Doom, the Dark Ages, and it's been in development for at least four years. Insider Gaming says that last year it heard, early details, about the still unconfirmed game and was told that it's set in a, medieval-inspired Doom world. The outlet suggests that the previous codename of, Year Zero, and the, Dark Ages, title, along with the mention of medieval inspiration, could point to this next entry being more of a prequel or origin story for Doomslayer aka Doomguy. That sounds reasonable to me and sounds like a fun way to keep the series fresh and different. Last month, some people interpreted a small tease from Microsoft reporter Tom Warren as an indication that a new Doom game was in the works and would be announced by Xbox during its June showcase. A new Doom being announced seems pretty likely as Doom Eternal was released four years ago and it's one of Bethesda's biggest franchises. So no shocker that one might be in the works. The real question I'm curious about is where this reported Doom, the Dark Ages prequel might land. Will this be an Xbox and PC only release, like Starfield? Or will Microsoft continue its multi-platform efforts and bring the next big Doom sequel to PlayStation 5, too? It seems we'll find out in June. On Friday, podcaster and insider Nate the Hate additionally reported that Doom, the Dark Ages will in fact launch on PS5. The game will still come to Xbox Game Pass, too. But it sounds like Bethesda's next Doom game will be a multi-platform release, like previous entries. So, there you have it. At the ending of that article, we heard the reporter said, you, you know, Doom would be a multi-platform game like previous entries. Now, it just so happened that the PlayStation community is taking this as a big win. That Doom is finally going multi-platform. Wait, what? Finally going multi-platform? 
Are these guys smoking? Y'all smoking crack! Something is wrong with you people! What the hell has this world come to? <laughs> Let's listen to some of these YouTubers and how they are misleading their fans uh, to believe what foolish narrative that they are spinning. Let's first listen to the original himself, Dreamcast guy, according to the people on the streets, Critterface. Let's listen and see what it is he is saying concerning Doom going to the PlayStation 5. We're talking about an Xbox game, but I guess technically not an Xbox exclusive. The next major Microsoft game project is a Doom sequel, but it takes place in the ancient past. And to be honest, it sounds fantastic. Let's take a look at the leaks and the fact that apparently this is another multi-platform Xbox release that we're going to be playing very soon. Hi, I hope you're having a great- uh, uh, hi, yes, I would be having a good day after you collect this. <laughs> so y'all see what Dreamcast guy did here, he and other Sony fans? Now, all of a sudden, these games that Microsoft would have acquired is now Microsoft own. You see, it fits their narrative. You see, they were saying that Microsoft should not take credit for any game that they would have acquired via a studio. Now, because it fits their talking point that Xbox games are coming to PlayStation, now they are happy to say that games that was already existing long before Microsoft acquired ZeniMax are coming to uh, the PlayStation 5. This is the, um, the, what the PlayStation community does. But let's see what else he's saying here. Now, apparently, it's going to be called Doom The Dark Ages. It's going to be revealed at the Xbox Showcase coming up here in about two weeks, June 9th. And apparently, it's going to be a medieval take on the Doom world. Now, the idea of this is initially completely mind-blowing. I definitely love Doom. I definitely loved Doom Eternal, but this is just such a different take. It, it seems like such a great idea to take it in a radically new direction that, in fact, I immediately had to tweet out the fact that Medieval Doom sounds like a massive Xbox W. Now, other leakers immediately began to chime in after this initial report by Insider Gaming, and basically people are saying, yes, this is real, and yes, it is being developed fully multi-platform, so it is coming to the PlayStation 5. In fact, I thought this was funny. When this was first leaked directly by Tom Henderson, he was like, hey, this is going to be great. Immediately, the replies are like, can't wait to get this on PS5, PS5 version getting announced. Now, I think this game is great, but I do find it a bit fascinating that at this point, Microsoft is clearly, in their own way, kind of giving up on the Xbox, that Game Pass numbers are not going to pay back as instantaneously. Like the budget of this game is probably at least a hundred million at the very lowest ballpark. So even at that range, it's hard to sell enough Game Pass subscriptions to pay that back. Whereas if you put it on a console like the PlayStation 5, where people can actually spend money to recoup those costs, obviously that's much more lucrative. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Now, this is such a stupid talking point that I believe that uh, Dreamcast guy is back on meth. Did Microsoft say at any point in time that every studio that they acquire, all the games would be going uh, exclusive from that point um, forward? No, at no point in time did Microsoft said that every single Bethesda game would be exclusive, that every single Activision Blizzard game would be exclusive. That would be idiotic on their part. By Microsoft acquiring Zenimax, Mojang, and ABK, they became one of the biggest third-party publishers in the world because all those studios had games on multiple different platforms for years. So why would Microsoft uh, exclude that fan base, exclude the money that would be on the table to make it exclusive? That makes no sense. Now, 
all and all the xbox gamer still benefits because these games will be coming day one on game pass so there is an incentive there for the xbox gamer if you go to other platforms to play these games you have to pay money but on xbox you have it free if you are subscribed to game pass so there is an incentive there for xbox players and also, they do not leave any money on the table for those who want to play this game outside of Xbox. So what foolish talking point does Jim Cast guy have here saying that Microsoft has given up because they are making a game that was already multi-platform? Multi-platform? What kind of stupidness? <laughs> now, Dreamcast guy was not the only pony here using this talking point. One of the four horsemen of the pony nation was saying this, Porterock. Hey, so we got two pieces of news um, that just came out. First, we'll start with Doom. So apparently the next Doom is called Doom the Dark Ages with a medieval theme. But here's the kicker. It is, it is being confirmed, I ain't gonna say confirmed, but it's being, Jordan's court is saying, and many others so far saying, that it is an actual day one multi-pad on PlayStation. And now, Porter Rock here seems to be surprised that a multi-platform game is going multi-platform. <laughs> it appears that Porter Rock don't know that all the Dooms ever released, uh, with the exception of maybe the mobile Doom, was always multi-platform. <laughs> these guys are sick i mean if you're going to cap if you're going to use a talking point at least make it a good one not one that is easily refuted nowhere in the interview when uh phil spencer and the xbox team acquired uh zenimax that they say legacy titles will now be going exclusive what was said is that new titles Titles like Starfield, star, uh, titles like Indiana Jones, those most likely will remain exclusive to the Xbox. And we are seeing that thus far. So there is no lie with what Phil Spencer said in that particular interview. However, why are these guys not seeing this? Why are these guys using... No, it has to be for clickbait. That's the only reason why. Because no one could be this dense that they didn't see and hear exactly what was going on when it is Phil Spencer made that interview. You know what? Let's play the actual clip of Phil Spencer, uh, what he was saying when it is he acquired Zenimax and Bethesda. Listen up. Here and say every Bethesda game is exclusive because we know that's not true. There's contractual obligations that we're going to see through as we always do in every one of these instances. We have games that exist on other platforms and we're going to go support those games um, on the platforms they're on. There's communities of players. We love those communities and we'll continue to invest in them. And even in the future, there might be things that have either contractual things or legacy on different platforms that we'll go do. Phil Spencer began this video by saying he's not going to sit here and say that every Bethesda game is going to be exclusive to the Xbox. That was said more than two years ago. But these guys are, are so, so surprised that these games are coming to PlayStation. He went on to say that there are some contractual agreements that they will fulfill. He also went on to say that there are communities on other platforms that they would have to uh, continue to feed content. In addition to that, he said they are, there are some legacy things that they would go ahead and do. Now, when he says legacy, meaning games and franchises that was existing on other platforms, that they will continue to release new iteration of said franchise on these other platforms now I, I don't think i had to read this out for you guys i mean i know being a pony does interfere with your cognitive skills but i didn't realize it was this bad but it's right there it's right there the video evidence is right there this is what he said but if we're an xbox customer the thing i want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. And that's our goal, that's why we're doing this, that's the root of this partnership that we're building. So this part of the video here, these ponies tend to use to show that Phil Spencer lied. But I will not say that what he said here was a lie because as far as I know, um, although it was a bad game, Redfall is still exclusive, 
Starfield, one of the best games last year, is still exclusive. In addition to that, Indiana Jones, um, that is also announced to be exclusive. You know, all those three games are all Bethesda games. And according to my knowledge, they are all exclusive to the Xbox. Now, if Microsoft was to make Doom exclusive, that would be a very stupid move. You know why? Because Doom is not just a single player game. It is also a multiplayer game that is played online. And guess what? Guess what keeps a multiplayer game alive for a long period of time? It is players. Yes, plenty, plenty players. And guess what? Having... Uh, PlayStation, PC, and Xbox combined as a player base would ensure that the Doom multiplayer uh, game would remain alive for a long, a long time. Now, let me hear what you think. Let me hear what you think about everything that was said. Let me know what you think about Portal Rock and Dreamcast guys saying a multi-platform game is going multi-platform. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about their talking points. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.